It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Baloscha. The question of the week is, how can we prepare for the coming of Mashiach? So in this week's Torah portion, we learn about the manna, the way God gave the Jewish people food in the desert. Now, it wasn't a city with its grocery stores, factories, or plantings. Strictly, whatever the Jewish people had fell from heaven, known as the manna. Now, what's interesting is, the Torah and Talmud teach us that the manna, there's a difference of opinions where it fell. One opinion is right outside the door of the house. They walked outside the house, it was right there. Another opinion, it wasn't outside the house, it was actually in the uh, community out in the camp. Another opinion, and these are all based in different verses, there was outside of the camp, totally outside the camp. So you see that it fell down, one opinion by the door, one in the camp, and one outside the camp. Also, there's a difference of opinion of what actually fell down. So one opinion, what fell down was bread, ready to eat. Pick it up, you wash, you make the blessing, and you can eat the bread. Another opinion was, it was dough. Dough means it was dough, but you had to still finish kneading it and baking it. And the third opinion was actually kernels. And the question is, wow, all these different opinions have to go together. So it's brought down and it says that basically it wasn't three different opinions because the fact was where, where did it fall and what, what fell. So it depends for who. If somebody was a tzaddik, a righteous person, it fell right by his front door, a loaf of bread ready to eat. I guess the modern terminology would be, that would be like, almost like Amazon Prime. So right by his front door, ready to eat. Um, if you go, at, if someone was a Benoni, a uh, middle type of guy, wasn't a tzaddik, wasn't a holy person, wasn't a wicked person, so then him, it fell out in the camp, and it was though he had to finish baking it. If somebody was not necessarily a tzaddik, he wasn't a Benoni, he was a Russia, he was disconnected from God, wasn't following God, then his portion, he would have to go look outside the camp, and he would find kernels. So there he brings out an interesting, interesting idea. The difference between a tzaddik Baini in Russia was only in the delivery. This one was by the door, in the camp, outside the camp, or, for example, the type, whether you had to do a little work to it or not. But they, what they did all have in common was it was manna. That means it was food from heaven. And what does that mean practically? We know the manna was so pure that one, it was 100% digestible. As a matter of fact, today when we eat bread, what blessing do we make? We make hamotzi lecha min it comes from the ground. Because there's solace, there's waste. The manna they made a blessing, hamotzi lecha min hashamayim, who takes out bread from heaven, because it came from heaven, no waste. Now, why did they all have to eat the manna? And the Rebbe explains, since they were going to receive the Torah, and the Torah is straight from God, so you need to prepare you need to be spiritually ready, physically ready. So the way they got ready was by not digesting regular food, but by digesting 100% pure food, food with no waste. By eating the manna, that allowed them to become ready for the receiving of the Torah at Mount Sinai, and they were able to be a proper vessel to receive the Torah. So the Rebbe explains the same thing also. We are all looking forward to the coming of the Messiah. And when Messiah comes, we're going to have powerful, deep insights into the Torah that only Messiah is able to teach us. So the way to prepare is, we know that today there's, there's spiritual food. What's our spiritual food? Learning Torah. But there's two types of Torah. There's the revealed part of the Torah, Mishnah, Talmud, Chumash, arguments, different commentators, uh, different commentaries. And then there is mysticism. Mysticism, when you study mysticism, it's 100% pure. It's a godly teaching. Now, obviously, we have to study both. But if you want to be ready for the coming of the Mashiach, just like then they ate the manna to prepare themselves, we have to study the, the mystical teachings of the Torah, Chassidut. So to answer the question, how can we prepare for coming to Mashiach? To make a schedule every single day, if possible, at least every day, maybe even a few times a day, to study the mystical teachings of Chassidus and Kabbalah, that will allow us to be ready for the coming of Mashiach. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May the souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information, please see our website.